Hello YouTube, Reloading Bench back with you once again and this will be, as you can tell, machining related. So this came today, uh, earlier today in the mail, didn't know what it was, put it off to the side because I want to listen to it, it sounds very metal-ish, but when I peeled the label, the shipping label off and it said metric gear, I knew exactly what this was for. And uh, I've been playing with the idea of making a longer stem for my posts, my tool posts, quick change as well as this one, um, for the simple reason that with the quick change, it's a little bigger, uh, it's a little longer stem, doesn't quite reach, it's like kind of like a double-sided stud. And uh, my first thought was, oh, I could learn to cut gears, you know, cut gears. Or let me rephrase that. I could learn to cut threads by changing my gears. So when I look at my lathe and the gears that it came with and the extra gears that it came with, I thought, oh, very cool. Because when you look at the chart, the thread cutting table, you can see all the metric. Oh, it can do one, uh, 0 0.5, 0 0.7 pitch, 1, 1, 2, 5, 1, 5, 0, 1, 7, 5, 2, 0, 2, 5, 0, 3, 0. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 different types of metric threads. Uh, and then when you go to the SAE, you've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So this machine is capable, my lathe is capable of 19 different types of thread cutting by changing the gears. I thought that's so cool. Until I looked at the size of the gears that I would need. And obviously the ones that are installed, depending on the thread that I was going after, would potentially need to be changed. So this being a metric thread of 10 millimeter uh, 1.5 pitch, I need 84, 60, 40, and 42. Well, I hive lighted in red. You might not be able to see. I don't have an 84 tooth gear. I have two 80 teeth gears. Um, so I started to look through my thread cutting gear necessity guide. And I highlighted all the threads that I cannot cut. So out of the metric, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, I cannot cut the 0.5, I cannot cut the 10, the 125, the 150, because they need gear 84 or gear with 84 teeth. And I don't have that gear. Try and find that gear. It's not even in the Viver set that they sell online for like 125 bucks. So I thought that kind of sucked. And then I went down to the standard pitch, SAE pitch. And out of the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, out of the 10, I can't do a 10. I can't do an 11. I can't do a 20. I can't do a 28, 38, 40, and 44. I can only cut a 14, 19, 22. Because I don't have a 30. I don't have two 60s. My lathe only came with one. Uh, again, I don't have a 30. Uh, I don't have a 35. I only have 150. My, my lathe came with 150, but I need two in order to cut this thread pitch. Uh, I don't have a 70. Again, don't have a 30, and I don't have a 24, so I can't do these two. So it's a little disheartening. It's good and bad. Good in the sense that the lathe is capable of cutting these threads. Bad in the sense that you don't get all the... Uh, gears. And it wouldn't be bad if Viver sold the gears, but what they essentially sell you is this kit all over again. A bunch of stuff you already have that came with the lathe, not a bunch of stuff that you need, like an 84. Try and find an 84 tooth. Uh, I think I found one and it was ridiculously priced, ridiculously priced. So anyway, uh, I found this guy on eBay and I'm guessing these metric gears are the missing gears that I'm looking for to some degree because uh, my, my big one was an 84 because I would love to cut this pitch, this uh, 150 10 millimeter pitch. So it's a 10 millimeter uh, stud and uh, half of it is already threaded. So I essentially would like to do the other side. I did return 
the 1.5, 10 millimeter 1.5 pitch threading die uh, that I received because um, it wouldn't cut. And maybe because this is, I think this is zinc, uh, maybe it won't cut that metal. Uh, I don't know. But uh, I will be experimenting. Maybe I'll experiment on that piece of brass. Uh, but brass is not strong enough for what I need to do. So this came uh, much faster than uh, was anticipated. And uh, yes, that is my set of gears. Let me get a towel. Okay, my towels are clean but not white because uh, they are shop towels. So, So this will have some duplicates. Uh, I believe the uh, I believe the 50 and the 60 was it 50 and the 60 50 50 50 50 50 50 50 I want to say it's the 50 and the 60 so I will have plenty of 50s and 60s but uh, the real win here is so there's another 50 there's a 40 i'll call this a spacer uh, i don't remember how many teeth that has i will count the teeth uh, this is a 33 60 72 80 oh, there's my 84 i can tell by how big it feels yes there's my 84 okay so with the 84 the two 80s which I already have two of, so didn't really need those. Uh, 72, 60, 50, 40, 33, 33, 33. Is this a 24? It's not a 24. You know what? Let's find out how many teeth it has. And the way I usually double check, because I get lost, is I will mark one. And then I will count so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. This is a twenty. So that is a twenty. I don't know that I need a twenty for anything, so that will become a spacer. Uh, I'm double checking this list to see if I need a twenty for anything. And it looks like the smallest I need is a 24. So I don't have a 24. There's like four or five that uh, I don't have that would allow me to do this entire uh, 19 threads. Not that I'm going to cut those 19 threads, but I thought it was uh, rather humorous, ironic, that the one thread I want to learn to cut on is requiring a an 84 tooth gear that I didn't have. So um, we now have, and I will probably clean these off. We now have more gears than uh, we know what to do with, uh, but better to have too much of something than not enough. So that will take care of that. Uh, not sure how I will cut this. I've never cut a thread. Um, I've watched plenty of videos on how it's done, but I've never done it. And uh, I've played around a little bit with, uh, with trimming this back up because of the uh, terrible, terrible, looks like stainless, stainless steel that's been galvanized, maybe. Uh, terrible on how that thread, uh, threading die, uh, treat, excuse me, treated it. So there, there are my uh, new sets of gears that uh, uh, may come in handy. Uh, then again, may not, depending on what I'm trying to do with uh, with my projects. Never ending projects. I love to experiment, love to learn, and this is part of that process. So more later.